<sighs> yeah. And, and, yeah. And then during the actual interview, not mention about this. It's like, mm, speculations here. Lots of... Yeah, as I said, it's all speculation. It's all kind of bullshitty stuff. Yeah. But I, as once again, I, I would be a bit more believing if it wasn't just after Donald Trump elected him for this thing. If it was like, came when, like, you know what? Mm. I would have even believed it if it was just as they were thinking about nominating. Because we've known he was likely to be nominated for a while. Yes. Right? Correct. So maybe just then, the second they're like, no, 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 we can't even, we've, we've got to do it now just in case he does get elected. I could be a bit more like, that makes sense. You probably never heard of him becoming a fucking Supreme Court justice or a judge or anything else until he made it to the media being a, um, a nominee. Yeah. Then uh, I could be like, oh, that's a good point. But yeah. it seems a bit fucking convenient that it's when he just gets all the way up to right before he gets um sworn in yeah it, it, it's basically the interview the, the interview part that's like kind of a a non sequitur yeah. kind of interview yeah. he because really all the republicans have to do is just push him straight through but they're they're giving the democrats an opportunity to you know do the basic q a even though they they don't have to I think I, I think there might be a bit of 4D chess being played here. Oh. I think Donald Trump is showing how unhinged the left can be. Because mm-hmm. a lot of people have seen this and been like, fuck, I, I, I can't support him anymore. You know? No, and, and that's gonna, what I'm yeah. thinking as well, because of the fact that I thought it was kind of an unusual play for the lefties, especially like, like uh, oh God, who, who is the one who's sitting on it? Ah, oh, get her name. I'll come to me later. But uh, she she ended up getting the the letter months in advance, sat on it, and then brought it to somebody's attention after the fact. Because she didn't yeah. bring it to her own base. She 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 left it there until it festered, and then all of a sudden dropped this bomb through a leak and. That's another question. Who actually leaked out this yeah. information? We don't know for sure. Yeah, and then when we watched the actual, you know, interviews, mm-hmm. there's one bit which like, I can't possibly get on a plane. I got a fear of flying. It's like, yeah, Wait, don't, you, don't, you, don't you go on a plane every year, like to Washington? It's like, yes. And don't you also have a hobby that means you have to fly at least three times a year? Yes. Yeah. And, and didn't you fly here? It's like. Unfortunately, yes. And doesn't your job mean you have to fly? Yes. It's like, so why was this flight the one, you know? Yeah, like, yeah. Why was, why was this, this thing that you wanted to die on? This was the hill that you uh, thought would be the good time to, to, yeah. to try to, you know. To start exposing your fear of flying. Like, yeah. you know what? I can even believe she has a fear of flying. Yeah. No, you know, I, I, could, I could buy that. It'd be like, fuck, not another flight. Yeah. Fine. I'll, yeah. I'll, I'll take a fucking Valium and I'll you know, mm-hmm. not sleep through it, whatever, yeah. you know, uh, but yeah, yeah, she can go on a plane. She's done it before. Why do you say now that she can't? Yeah, it's like, mm, you've done this before several times for the course through, I don't know, years, and you've decided that now that you can't do it. It's like, mm. yeah. as well as the, the, the other thing I find it hilarious that anybody who would have been within the time frame, right? of uh, this uh, actions from Brett Kavanaugh I have not come out to say anything. Yeah. It's if anything, like, though, some of the witnesses have claimed that he wasn't there. Yeah. Some of the witnesses were like, no, he wasn't at that party. What are you talking about? Mm-hmm. Brett didn't drink or whatever, some shit like that, you know? Yeah, no, it's, and I think it's kind of weird. And now that the FBI are involved, I mean, because yeah. Donald Trump eventually just released his dog. He, 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 yeah. Yeah, that's the other thing Th- that I thought was kind of funny during the actual um, sit down with the the Democrats were kind of going, do you think you should, you know, call on the FBI to do the investigation for you? Yeah, yeah. But, like, 
It's not the FBI's job to do investigations. They're not a detective agency. Not just that, but they are held by the highest standard of, I, I don't know, uh, political when it comes down to, let's see, the, well, not just the, pre that, but the, pres the president controls them as well as the Senate controls them to a point because yeah. they're the highest level of office when it comes down to the investigation. The Jewish story thing. But yeah. another problem I have with this is like, I, I I don't know what the procedure is for a federal case like this because like there's already so much info on it, but there's yeah. got to be what branch of the intelligence agency would be like your in, would be like your federal detective um you are well for us it'd be ceases all the way through um because but, we, you, but you get what i mean yeah, right yeah but like, you, like like there's got there's got to be a there's got to be like the upper most highest detective thing you know yeah like the, in a criminal justice system <laughs> you know? yeah, yeah no like, um, like, like, like who's who's above the state level um the federal level that that's it but, yeah but, but, but i know that but but what what branch of the intelligence agency is for investigating crime because that's not what the cia is for that's not what the fbi is for actually, that's not what fucking um, that is what the, the uh, fbi is for no the fbi is for the federal bureau of information uh investigation investigation I, yes in this yeah, and, and they, they are they are the dogs for the president of the United States. No, no, they, they are the dogs, but as far as I knew, their job was to um, it, it, go, it, through, go, go through the, I guess, how do I put this, surveillance and other things regarding, I guess, I'm going to use the word state, even though that's not the correct word, like the state security, like as in, you know, preventing international... Uh, cyber threat, mm. like that. I thought that was their job, not to look into crime. Um, well, according to the, and this is going back down to what the, oh the, yeah, the twenty, when J. Edgar Hoover had control over it. Oh, uh, their main principle was to enforce law. Uh, um, that doesn't under, sound like a detective to me, then. Under a certain degree, but they are supposed to investigate in order for them to enforce. Uh, uh, okay, uh, uh, because I've been told by several people that this isn't the role of the FBI, but okay, fair enough. Uh, it, it's, it's an unusual thing for the FBI. Yeah, no, this isn't what they're normally supposed to do, but in this case, because they are... Because there's no one else to do it, they're the ones that have to do it. Yes. That, Basically that's it. basically okay. it. They, uh, 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 this, I, can this, make, I can I can agree with that. Yeah, because this know? this belongs on the jurisdiction of the U.S. federal government. This yeah. this person who's going up to the highest level uh, of, of of his job, being a judge, is going yeah. into a federal level. All right, he's no longer going to be controlled by a, a, a state or being even considered lower level tier in federal. Um, yeah, but he's going to the highest. So. In this case, he's being appointed by a president to take the job. He is going to be going through the, the Senate, who is appointed by the people, to work alongside with the president to say, yeah, we like this person, or we don't. We really don't like yeah. this person. That's it. That's all they're supposed to do. Right. Fair enough. I, 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 I'll, I'll leave that for now. Yeah. And the other thing on top of this I have to add on, the Federal Bureau of Investigation has already done a check of Kavanaugh at least six times. Yeah. Right. Of course they have. You don't get to be fucking elected nominee to the, you know, to the highest judge that you get. It's a lifetime job. Correct. They, they're going to investigate you. They're going to make sure this shit, you know, which to the fact that they didn't figure out that these people existed, you know, during the vetting, mm -hmm. it's absurd to me. Correct. It is. It is. It's like, hmm. So no, no, speaking of setups, right? I, I, I'm sorry. Actually, no. Yeah. I'll, I'll finish this, but I do want to talk about another setup because I heard this thing that happened recently to uh, someone who's a bit controversial in the uh, federal law thing, uh -huh. and I want to talk about him. But okay, we'll finish so, this so, off. No, no, no. Go, go ahead. Because I was all I was going to do is, is pretty much go over what the FBI kind of do. Um, so their goal no, is to no, protect, okay. defend the United States, upholding, enforcing the criminal law of the United States and to provide leadership and criminal justice service 
to the federal, state, and municipal, municipal and international agency and partners. Okay, that, uh, I'll. That, that's basically it. I'll so, go for now. Big, yeah, go, go, no, I was going to go. So now, who is this person you want us to take over? Okay, have you ever heard of Cody, Cody Wilson? Uh, no, I haven't. Okay, have you, you've, you've heard about the 3D printable guns, right? Yes. And you've heard that the... He's the one that, that's charged for... Oh, yeah, he's the one that's being charged for sexual assault of, of a teenager, right? Well, yeah, but let me tell you the story, because, like, I look into this, and it seems a bit fucky. My fucky nose is glowing red right now. Okay. Right? So, but just for people that don't know, he's a guy who basically developed the uh, printable gun technology and made it so it's not only... You can get it online, but now you can get it online legally. Uh -huh. You can get the schematics for a gun and print it online because of him under the First Amendment. Anyway, yeah. just after he finally won that court case, he was he was on um, SugarDaddy.com mm -hmm. as fucking people richer than, you know, who've got eight-figure incomes do. Yeah. Um, and he found a girl, and the girl was like, yeah, I want to fuck you, but 500 bucks. Right? Mm -hmm. So he finds this, you know, he meets up with a girl and he gives her 500 bucks and he, and they, and they fuck. Yeah. And the next day, that girl goes through a school counselor, 12 hours, less than 12 hours later, mind you, to complain that she had sex, you know, to basically admit that she's had sex with someone who happened to be Cody Wilson. Oh, she Jesus was Christ. Oh, ho, 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 ho. So allegedly the girl was under 17 years old. Yes, but here's the thing she was on an adult website. Yeah. Posing as an adult, asking for older men to fuck her. Oh God! Right. So, I, my fuckery thing is saying, I think this is a setup. Oh, you know? I, I, I would say so. It'd be a good. Yeah. He's, yeah. yeah. He's kicked the balls of the government. You know, he, he won a huge thing which he shouldn't have won because they just weren't prepared for it. Yeah. They didn't know enough about the technology and the internet to understand First Amendment law to not let this pass through. Mm -hmm. And now it's like, oh, all of a sudden, you know, the girl that he chose to fuck happened to be underage. Wow. You know? that, 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 that's a pretty good, uh, you know, all of a sudden. Uh, coincidence much? Yeah, exactly. And <sighs> also it gets me all into why the fuck prostitution, like illegal prostitution is just fucking retarded. If this guy wants to get his fucking rocks off and fuck and you know, squirt into a condom while it's inside a fucking chick, didn't pay her for her time. There yeah. should be anything fucking wrong with that, but for some reason we think <laughs> it's... Oh no! Women can't possibly have the fucking control over their own body to make money from their pussy. We can't allow that! <sighs> we better make it illegal, guys! No, I think it's kind of funny the way how it, it, it's uh, a damned if you do, damned if you don't situation because if, yeah. if you don't um... Uh, support prostitution for women that that well then you just don't like women and if you do end up you know utilizing the service that they provide then well you're just a loser yeah you're a loser so we have to throw you in jail you know <laughs> but some guys just can't be fucked picking up a girl i don't they can't be fucked going through the effort and the time and the you know the emotional labor of you know getting laid and they probably just don't want to you know, want them to fuck off once they're done. Well, you know? I, I, true, true. And, and again, when it comes down to it, we are looking at uh, prostitution. It's easy. It, it, it's one of the old timey-wimey uh, jobs. It, it's been around for God yeah. knows how long. It's like it, the it, oldest it, profession. It, it, it's probably the, probably the, the people say it's the world's oldest profession. I like to say it's the third oldest profession. You know, I always say it's one of the oldest professions. Oh, I don't know yeah, what it is. The third, because at first came the guy who learned how to hunt for food. Yeah. And then came the guy who decided that, that food was, you know, to be given, divvied out to people. And then came the chick going, hey, I'll suck your dick for more food. <laughs> Pretty you know? much. What about the guy that, that created fire? The, the, where, where, where does he hit the, the pecking order? No, 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 he's four. He's four. Okay, so... <laughs> So fuck raw like, food, you know. No, like screw, like screw it. Screw, food screw the raw food, food first, but we're gonna have to, you know. Yeah. Oh my god, yeah, yeah, so. yeah, yeah, yeah. He probably actually went to the girl. If you suck my dick, <laughs> I got fired. Now suck my dick, and we can heat up food. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I, I, I don't understand why Western countries 
have a legalized prostitution. Well, we they think that's civilized. Yeah, well, it, it kind of kind of goes back to even the uh, I, I would go Eastern style countries. They even have their own versions of prostitution, but they don't really have they don't really talk about it so much, especially when it comes down to the boys. Well, see, but when I don't want to, that's why it's supposed to be illegal. <laughs> I you know. know this fucked up dancing boy shit. <laughs> yes. Instead of just, hey, I can go online and go. I want to. I'm feeling pretty fucking horny tonight. I got five hundred bucks in my burning yeah. a hole in my pocket, and I feel like fucking a really hot chick. You I know, can go down the city. Yeah. And pick have a pick of the litter at a brothel. You know, this, this would this would be different if this. Safe. Yeah. I was going to say this is this would be different if this was a dancing boy. I don't yeah. know, I don't think this would be a huge talk in the town going and he's gay. Uh, yeah. Uh, or he 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 was into that I uh, to that moment of time. It, it, is is yeah. he gay? Is he straight? Who dude, knows? Dude, <laughs> there are gay brothels here too, you know. I know. And they do the same thing. They put your dick in a blue light. Check if it's got any fucked up diseases. Yep. And you still have to put on a condom, of course, but uh-huh. they still check your dick regardless. Yep. You know, oh, and yeah. once you're once you're given the green light, you know you get to go. <laughs> like it, it, it's a really good system. Uh, I wish it was a good ride. You know what? Uh, it, it's just going to make it even worse with the uh, the 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 what is it? The printed dolls that we have already ready to go. Oh. They'll be be yeah, out well, about VR, that, yeah. your VR pornography. Yeah. Fucking those dolls. Yeah, and those. They're, they're, yeah. They're, they're gonna fuck up the world. Oh yeah, because we're just so confused with this shit. Uh huh. Oh yeah. You know? oh, yeah. But anyway, uh, rant over when it comes to prostitution. But the Cody Wilson thing really got me going because I feel like something fucky is going on here, and it's only going on because prostitution's illegal. Um. Yeah. It's kind of weird that they're not getting him on the actual prostitution per se. It's the fact the that he's he... fucking a kid. Yeah, that's the, girl. yeah, it, and and that right there kind of go. Hmm, why was she uh, on on a on a site as an underage individual? Yeah, and and you know what? And she's like, uh, okay, I know laws are different in different countries. You know, some countries age of consent sixteen. That's yeah. what it is here. Yeah, right. And people think that's too young, but that's not a child. No, that's very close to knowing what the fuck you're doing. You know. Mm-hmm. In some cases, because girls, you have to add in another two more years to the maturity level because they are faster in, in maturity than most men. Well, they hit puberty at like at like eleven, or yeah. twelve. Yeah, you know, Where, it usually takes boys thirteen or fourteen. Yeah, to, even to, to yeah to even figure how their their PP works, um, yeah. or realize that they like girls or boys depending on which way they, yeah. they swing. But uh, yeah, capacity <laughs> though. Yes. <laughs> But moving forward to that, so you add on two, so this, say, 16-year-old had the maturity understanding of an 18-year-old. Yeah. Yet we're going to treat her like a 16-year-old child, though she could have manipulated the whole situation. Yeah. Or she was set up to do that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. There, there is that other, you know, there's How a lot of... How do we of... know this wasn't, you know, just fucking... I don't we... know, it's just it's very coincidental, the... You know, it the first chicky fucks on sugardaddy.com uh-huh. happens to be Yeah, it just happens to be underage. It just happens to be, you know... Uh, he just happens to be in Thailand, apparently. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. He went to Thailand once a year. I was like, oh, fuck. Yeah. Because he, uh, he, he does have some, like, pretty, you know, high-priced lawyers. Uh-huh. And they're like, yeah, we can we can get you to that country. And, yeah, know? yeah. Last year in Thailand. Well, once he, he's in Thailand, he can go anywhere. You, yeah. you, you do realize the same same idea is like once you go to South America, you can pretty much go anywhere. Yeah. yeah like, oh, yeah. It, it, it doesn't do. I do. There is one thing. Because, you know what? I have to be fair. Yeah. Let's just say he is a predator, right? Yeah. It doesn't bode well that he went to a country that's known predators. Yeah, they have known predators, yes. You know what I mean? I wish he went to a country more like Russia or Norway or Hungary. Yeah. A country that's also, you know, not gonna, you know, pass him over to America, yeah. you know, um, with extraditing. But at the same oh, yeah. time, isn't well known for fucking kids. Uh huh. 
And that just you know, makes, yeah. that, I, I, I've got to put that out there because maybe he is. Oh, maybe yeah. he did know when Joel was younger. Maybe he is a predator. Yeah, we you don't know. Because I don't know the guy. No. You know, but, yeah, so that uh, I've got to be fair and balanced. Yeah, no, it, it, it's the same thing. Like, I have to be extra careful with this kind of thing going, yes, I like the idea that it, it could be kind of a setup because the guy walked away with, with a massive win against the federal government. But yeah. you also have to consider a few other minor things that have popped up. Like, one of the last place he was seen was in Thailand. It was like, ooh, that, that's a huge predatorial uh, factory all by itself. Yeah. Uh, and... and because he's within that circle, he's within touch or reach of that particular circle group. He can be anywhere from uh, the the was the underground uh, of, of Japan, someplace. He could be. Yeah, we don't know. We don't know. Yeah. You know. So, but yeah, I, I want to be fair. Yeah. I don't believe that's the case, but it definitely could be. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. I, I really did... hope it's not, dude. I really hope it's not. I, I, I appreciated what he did for freedom of speech, and it was important what he did. Oh, yeah. So I really hope he's not a fucking sicko. Uh, well, I'm going to send you something. I think this is something interesting that uh, I, I, I came across. The uh, the police shooting database of at least... Uh, 2017. The, actually, it, it, if you click the 2018... You can uh, do that? Yeah, click 2018. Copy. Uh, bear with me. Uh, you know, every time you uh, say yeah. that, I, I say it will be un uncomfortable to you more over than me. All right, got it. Okay, <laughs> okay. so let's find out. So 458 were white. Now, now, check out. Okay, so, you know, there was a kid that who was 12, a black kid, and he had a toy gun. Yeah. And he was killed by... Uh, by the police, and then that was Trayvon, I think it was Trayvon Martin or something like that. Uh, yeah. If you check out the, the thing that says Toy Gun. Toy Gun. Yep. You'll see that uh, certain individuals have been snuffed out uh, via oh, Toy Gun. Oh, yeah, I, I, uh, yeah, apparently there was 17 white kids who were shot. Yeah, well, toy weapons... Uh, at least 24 for what I believe the, yeah, a police killed in 2018. 24. Yeah, 13. And yeah. 13 of them were white, 6 were black, 6 were Hispanic, and 1 was probably Jewish. Yeah, I know. So, you know, but I, I think it's kind of hilarious how, you know, the lefties are all up in arms about this, but you know, if it wasn't for those, oh, I don't know, those other white individuals, some who were very young. Um, At least half had a mental illness. Yes. In... That is very interesting. Yet we don't hear a lot from the lefties talking about that. No, we don't. You know what? I want to figure that out. Let's see how many people in general were shot with a mental illness. Okay, only 25% when you include all of them. Yeah. Still pretty interesting. Yeah, because you, you end up with six one people. One in four with mental illness is a shot. That's yeah. That means, like, there's a serious correlation with, like, is it fair that those kids, like, that those people who don't know any better mm -hmm. will be shot if they can't, um, you know what I mean? Yeah, well, here, we got... Like, oh, they don't have the same capacity to understand, hands up, don't, you know, yeah. yes or no, sir. Correct. Oh, okay, we'll, we'll kind of go through here. We got one uh, Vanessa who's 49, Hispanic woman with a toy weapon, was shot uh, in, a, in, a, in an apartment of California. Right. We got another one, uh, Euless, uh, I'm guessing female. No, man, 50. Uh, toy weapon shot, again, in California. What's fucking wrong with California? Unidentified person. Toy oh, you know weapon, California. California. It's, got, it's got 50 million people in it. Uh huh. That's what's wrong with California. Yeah, that's, it's got that, a third of the fucking population. Yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, you 21 know, year so old. What, yeah. Go ahead. 20, yeah. 21 one year old uh, man, fairly young, toy weapon shot in this case in Florida. At least it was. Here's wasn't a question. The, go ahead. Sorry, um, because it's, it occurs to me that a lot of these people aren't children. 
Uh, this isn't like that. This isn't like that twelve-year-old who shot, you know, who um, oh, who was oh, running oh. around, you know, being a dickhead with his toy gun, pretending it was a real one. Yeah, right. Like he definitely shouldn't have been shot, and it was definitely a travesty of justice. But as we said, they didn't know it was a real gun or not. But Correct. not the point. He uh, sound like a doll. Oh uh, uh, well, when you when you when you have a mental illness, you really don't comprehend the same thing as as a doll. You, you, you have uh, to, I get that. You have to I reduce the, the the average age of an individual by at least half. All right. But I, I, I want to fight you a little bit on that because, yes, it says mental illness. Yes, it's interesting that, that that's included, mm-hmm. right? But we do not know um, – how do I put this? We don't know what type of mental illness. Oh, um, true. Is it, is it full blown schizophrenia or is it anxiety? Uh, again, that's something that you would have to go into the uh, down in the below. There's the actual the post of where the, the sources are. For yeah, example, but you get what I'm saying. Oh right? yeah, no, no, I get what you say. Joseph it, Zimmerman. Yeah. I wonder if he's related to the um to the Jeffrey Dahmer thing. You know, the other Zimmerman. Because Probably. it's not a common name. No, no, it's not. Like, even if it's off-related, like, not direct family, but, like, you know, a cousin or a... Yeah. You know, um, whatever. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Uh-huh. Okay. Um, but, but, but yeah, I, I thought I wanted to raise the thing about mental illness, because even though I'm shocked that, that so many mental illness people are getting shot, I want to know a few more things. Like, A... Are people using that as a way to get further? Like, we're having a bit of an epidemic with that in Australia right now. A lot of people will claim mental illness to get the disability pension. Mm. You know, when they don't really have a mental illness, they just know what to say to get marked down with anxiety or something like that. Yeah, well, in California, that seems reasonable because of the fact that almost everybody has a mental illness there. Uh... <laughs> well, they, well, according to the green card, they do. Uh-huh. That's my point. Yeah, the, thank but... you. That's Though, how they get the green card. Yeah, so when it comes to people outside of that, the California sphere, who are claimed as mental illness, that usually is kind of hard because you have places like Georgia or something like that that pops up. They're, they're a little bit more stringent on how they identify their individuals as mental illness. No, but, but I appreciate this. I saw this the other day on someone else's site, Yeah, and I wanted to get the um, this database. I think I'm going to be doing a bit of research. I thought it was quite out. interesting because I I've, yeah. I've kind of held on to it for a little bit, waiting for like today to actually cover it. Because um, if it wasn't for um, what was it, atheism is unstoppable. Whether yeah, you, yeah I, I gotta thank him, man. Yeah, if, if regardless whether you like Tra- uh, Devin Tracy or not, he did when I when I watched his thing on the that little black kid that was shot. He actually did cover a few other different things, and I'm like, going, like, interesting. I do find it yeah. kind of funny that it is that the lefties have kind of turned a blind eye when it comes down to maybe mental illness or those who are within that same age category who are non-black. It is, is very interesting, isn't yeah, it? It's yeah, it's very interesting. It's like, mm, what about the Hispanics who were shot who might be within that same age group or... Or, or how about the, the others? There was, there was one case where it was a black woman who was in her 70s, no, 80s, uh, who ended up getting shot by the police. But she was she was shot for the reason of using a BB gun on the police to protect her son, who was being arrested. Yeah, but can't shoot. Yeah. Uh, you and can't she, have a gun around the police. Ain't no, yeah. You can't use any... You can't even... I would say you can't even use a water pistol. No, the police. no, no, no. That's a form of assault. And if the police... No, 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 not just that, but it's a pistol shape. Yes. They All they see is you've got your hand in a trigger motion. They don't yeah. see the pistol. They The water pistol. They see your hand in a trigger motion aiming towards somebody. Yeah. You know? Um, But, yeah, I was going to give a bit of a story. This is slightly... Un- it's related, but it's slightly different, right? right. Um, when I was in Sydney, I was working with a guy who was doing. I just lost. Tell me a story when he was in. Uh, can you hear me? 
Yeah, yeah, no, she, she's kind of trailed off for a few seconds. Okay, sorry. Um, anyway, he was telling me a story about when he was in America mm-hmm. and he was in Portland and he got a gun put on him, right? Yeah. And just so we can get a mental image. White, very clean cut, shaven, glasses, mm-hmm. maybe five foot ten, wears collars all okay. the time. Um, long shirts. Yeah. So, you know, mm-hmm. very well dressed, very well kept. He was in Portland, and he was around at a place in a, in a not the richest neighborhood, but not not a poor one either. No. And around but... eight p.m. Mm-hmm. and he was pacing, and a cop pulled a gun on him. Oh Jesus Christ! And you know, he was like, and it was where his back was turned too. You know, turn around. And he's like, but he was on the phone pacing. He's like, um. Gotta go. Yeah. Go. You know? Yeah. He puts his hands up and he's like, What's the problem, officer? You know? And he gets checked and and they let him. They go, We want to see your ID. We want to know what the fuck you're doing here, all that shit. Yeah. And, you know, he's like, What the fuck? You know, I'm a white was... guy. I'm colored. You yeah. And I, and I kind of, first I was like, I go, Yeah, that's pretty fucking scary. But then I go, But now that I think about it, you kind of fit the pro- profile of like a medium to high level drug drug runner. Yeah. You know, you're well dressed. You're white in a predominantly black neighborhood. Mm-hmm. You're, you know, you're obviously well off. You know, it's like, what are you doing here? Yeah. What are you doing here at eight p.m. when the sun's down, pacing on a phone? Are you organizing a drug deal? You know. Yeah. And he's like, oh shit. Fuck. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Don't put all those pieces together right away. It's like, ah. Uh, yeah, I know. You know? I've, been, I've been bugged by the police on a few occasions, and I always thought it was quite interesting. And I've always been very respectful to them to a point where I freaked them out. Is it yeah. was, it, it, it's like, what the fuck? Just go, just leave me alone. Because there was one guy, and he was a Hispanic officer, too. Yes, we have Hispanic cops up here. And uh, me and a buddy, we, I know, it, no, but we do have them, they exist. I, I swear to you. <laughs> but uh, me and a buddy, uh, we were at, going up to a local, uh, I guess, considered a pawn shop. Cause we, I wanted to get rid of some games and that. I had a whole bunch of games, and so we decided, or I decided, it'd be best uh, to reduce my entire library of games I'm not using, kind of replenish them with games I'm actually going to play. So I, uh, I was in the midst of going to the shop to get rid of the, the, uh, the hall, and this cop just rolls on up, stops, and approaches us, I'm like, ah, oh, shit. Think to myself, ah, oh, shit, here we go. And I'm like, going, okay, I've got this white guy with me and this me. And I'm going to be asked, what the fuck am I doing here, right? Because I usually get that every now and then. I, it's really weird. And uh, no word for a lie, the, the officer goes, oh, there was a couple, there's been a report of a couple people doing a breaking in, and, and, and you meet that uh, description in that. So, uh, so where are you going? I'm like, I'm going up to the local pawn shop here to drop off my games. Oh, do you have any, uh, uh, in commu- do you have like any uh, tattoos or whatnot? I'm like, no, officer, I have no tattoos. But if you want, I can show you. Yeah. And so I end up you, slowly you peeling. Right here? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, here I am slowly stripping off, stripping every layer. And I'm, and I'm telling my friend, hang on. As I'm doing that, going, see, look, nothing on my arms. And then it's about to take off my shirt. It's like, as people are slowly walking by, he's looking at, at like, he's very uncomfortable. He's like, hey, you know what? Just, just go. You're fine. Just, just, just go about your merry way. Nothing to see here. I'm good. Just go. I'm like, yeah. I've, I've come across stupid situations like this before. And you don't have to be solidly colored or, or, or you know, completely on, on the Caucasian basis just to have that. That, that, that lie that they always want to find out, you know, get in your shit to find out certain things about you or, you know, um, see if they can snoop around for whatever reason. Because there was, there was one case where I was uh, working for uh, Lionsgate Studios and late at night, graveyard shift, and these squad car pulls right up to the, uh, the gatehouse that we have. So that no one goes in and out unless we, we let them through. So the big arm that kind of in front of it, and they're yeah. like, um, "Do you mind if we kind of like you know take a, a roll through the the area?" I'm like, "Going private property, officer. You're not allowed in unless we need you here. And there's nothing happening. There's no reason for you to be here. And it's like three o'clock in the I morning. 
<laughs> so, yeah, yeah, no, yeah. you can't come in. Everything closed down. Sorry. Yeah, well, the, 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 something like that happened. To, yeah, I was yeah. going to say something similar that happened to me too. Yeah, go but ahead. It was, a bit, it was a bit more of a serious. Sorry, and I didn't mean to cut you off. No, no, go ahead. But um, it was like I remember one time like well, they uh, it was actually pretty awful. Like there was a some girl got murdered on near our neighborhood. Ooh, that sucks. Buried at the park. Oh. And there was signs of trauma and all that stuff at one point. Yeah. You know, and this like house was like this park was literally like. Um, house. So oh. I guess I was the first, you know, house. Of, no yeah, you, you, like, you were the first yeah. house on the left. So lucky you. Yeah, yeah. I'm, <laughs> I'm like, uh, I'm like, oh, can we check the house? I'm like, no. <laughs> you know, <laughs> you know. I'm like, oh, I'll, 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 I'll let you know everything, you know, because I didn't see anything. They weren't here, but I'll tell you everything that's happened, like where I was, what, what we were doing, all that other stuff. But no, you can't look into our house. You know? Yeah. You know, and it's like. Oh, and she, she was a little like upset. Uh, why? And I'm like, well, a, it's not just my house. I've got housemates, and they're not here. And I don't know how happy they would be with you looking into their stuff without, you know, their permission. And I have no reason to show you. You know, we're sorry, and this happened, and everything. But I don't want. I don't think I'm a suspect. You know. And they never came back. Oh, of course, they would never come back because. But I, it was just one of those. Yeah, can we look in your house? No. Yeah. No. <laughs> like, especially when it's this serious, I don't want anything to be, you know. Mm. No, you the, know, the, but yeah. These things happen, unfortunately. It doesn't just happen to the to the colored folk, like the Chinese, the the, the uh the uh. What do you call it? The you know, the blacks. It happens to everybody, no, unfortunately. Some more often than others. Me, I I really, I have my respect and they, for. And they usually have that reason. Yeah, they usually do. Whatever the reason is, I just don't know what it is. Sometimes, actually, I, I usually get that every now and then. If I'm with a particular buddy, I and he always wants to go into like an HMV, which is music music record store or whatnot, or or some place that I know they're going to have like certain kids. That will automatically go look at me. Go, he doesn't fit here. Why is he here? I'm like, going, dude. You know what's going to happen? They're going to look at you and kind of go. He can go through because you fit that that demographic. They automatically look at me and they kind of go, why is that fucker here? I'm going to go up to him and, and ask him if if I need to to help him for whatever reason. Five seconds into any shop, literally the moment I step my foot inside that shop. Can we help you, sir? Yeah. I just got here. I, I know, but can we help you? <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know. With a buddy. Leave me alone at this moment. So it's like, fuck. And I look at him well, like, buddy, you need help. <laughs> yes. We're over here. If It's like, yeah, I know. And I look at my buddy going, this is why I don't like coming here. People like that. We have something similar with... um. We've got a we've got a couple Asian neighborhoods. Yeah. You know, here like where it's predominantly, you know, Chinese or Japanese or whatever. Yeah. And if you go into their store, if you're white, they'll just start following you. Mm. You know, be like, Hi, what are you doing? I'm like, Oh, I'm just having a look. Oh, that's nice. And I can take a few steps. I'll take a couple more steps. <laughs> you know? Look behind you and then they'll pretend like they're sorting a <laughs> shelf. I know. When really like they're just flipping things around and you're like it's like, okay. yeah, no, this, 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 you can go away now, please. <laughs> I'm like, oh, no, 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 I'm just here to help if you need help. Yeah. I'll let you know. <laughs> you know? <laughs> no, no, yeah. are, are you sure? <laughs> yes, I'm sure. Yeah. Fuck off. Yeah, no, I, I actually, <laughs> I, I, I've, I've never had that with any of the Chinese. I'll put it that way for, for sure. That I've been in a lot of different Chinese establishments. I've had that that weird googly eye going. Why is this guy low coming in here? Then I, then I kind of order up a lot of food and shit like that. Yeah. And then like, oh okay, he's here to spend money. I love this guy. Yeah. Uh, or yeah, or. If you, if you go to a, like, it, it's not like happens at every single one. Let me be. No no there. no. I get it. I get it. It's just, yeah. It it's the same but thing. It's like, happened like, a couple times. So yeah. It's happened like like, and like about a half a dozen times. So often enough where it's a funny. Yeah, you just kind of go, hmm, this is really weird. I'm like, I'm not black. 
<laughs> <laughs> but we don't really have black. <laughs> I don't. Like, 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 like 2%. Even less of our population is Aboriginal, yeah. and none of them are in the cities. Mm. You know, like a Aboriginal in Melbourne is as rare as hen's teeth. Oh, wow. You know, so we don't really have that profile. You know. Yeah. So really, it, white people are probably seen as the fucking dirty thieves today. Well, I, in some cases they are. I hate the. Uh, well, I, no, no, fair enough. We are. <laughs> you know? Some cases I'm you are because I mean, when it comes down to it, it used to be. Um, uh, the the Chinese or at least the Japanese would consider consider the uh, the European heathen because they didn't know how to bathe. So yeah, that makes. Sense. Uh, it, well, it, yeah. Didn't the Japanese have like toothpaste for a while before? Yeah, they did. The, um, yeah, that yeah. explains a lot. Yeah, yeah, oh yeah. I you mean, know? bathing, toothpaste, you know, brushing one's hair, you know, these things are. are oh. Well, there was a thing, you know, the noble would carry around flowers. Yeah. Not because they like flowers, but just to hide their stench. Yes. Something's causing me to uh, go weird. What oh, is... that's probably both my internet connection, dude. No, no, no. It's something's loading up. But I... No, it's on my end. Something was loading okay. up. But I don't know what's going on. So I did the... The classic uh, Taskmaster to see what the hell was going on, and I was able to get into what I want, so I can send you the last article of the day. So, in Canada, well, at least Vancouver, my neck of the woods, uh, we, we actually had, uh, uh, I, um, last year there was a Chinese who was 13 who was uh, killed, and, and uh, her body was found in... Um, a park that was kind of, kind of, it was uh, a large park that was surrounded by most of the the city and that. So everybody went to it, but in, in that neighborhood, and um, the police were trying to figure out who done it, and they finally yeah. found out who done it. Oh, let me guess, he was Muslim. Ah, uh, Syrian refugee. Yeah. Oh, what do you know? <laughs> what do you know? And it, it, one of Trudeau's best. Two. This was one of really? Trudeau's. Yes. Yes. One this, of the ones he hugged and like went, Oh, this is this is the type of people we should have in our country. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <sighs> Which is kind of weird. Oh, do you want to know how old he was? How old he was? I'm gonna guess he's in his forties. Twenty eight. That's I I don't know if that's worse or better. <sighs> uh, not better. Not even I don't know, <sighs> I, I, like I, maybe I shouldn't use that word. <laughs> but you know what I mean. Like, yeah, I know. Like, it's like, yeah, no. Um, the 28 year old arrived in Canada just three months before Shen was found dead in Burnaby in the Burnaby Park in July. So oh, I know. So he arrives in 2017, and then ends up deciding to off some kid. For, yeah, later on that year. Yeah. And then leaves her body, uh, and this is a weird thing. Uh, he actually had to move her body from the place where he offed her to a public park, thinking that no one would, would find her because it was in the within his neighborhood. Well, who goes to a public park? Park, yeah. Especially like a huge, you know, like a jogger's park, you know? Yeah. It, it's where you have all these trees in there that's everywhere, and you kind of go, oh, I can leave this body here. Enough people will go to it. But guess what? There's all these random pathways for the 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 uh the elderly hiker the 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 person who likes biking the person who likes to take their kids on a stroll in, in the buggy the jogger you know the the random teenager they'll cut through the park to go from from school to home in a very busy neighborhood and the chinese populace in vancouver is upset and I wonder why. I, I know. And they want to have the Prime Minister apologize for what happened. Like, take a degree of responsibility. I think he should. Because he said he would take responsibility if any of his Syrians were found doing any form of crime. Nothing, you know, something that was considered against Canadian law or, or how we function as a society. Uh, yeah. Now, I'll, I'm like, yeah, this 
I can see why these people are like going, yeah, um, I, I think we should kind of hold off on, on this. But yeah, he's accused of, uh, of uh, first degree murder. Um, and uh, it'll be quite interesting um, tale of the tape to see how far this goes. But uh, yeah, the, uh, the Trudeau government wants to make sure that this backlash kind of goes away. Not seen. What's or heard yeah, from because it, it, it not being reported in, in from our CBC, which is our Canadian broadcasting, you know, uh, uh, cable system, our, our, our standard propaganda news that we have. Yeah, but they're not talking yep. about it. And it just seems like we have to find these reports outside of our normal chain. Yeah. Of, uh, it's like, wait. And, and then people wonder why. Um, the even on the American side that they don't want to listen to like the uh, uh, the big media, they they go to independent news sources or they go have to go outside of their news source, out of their own culture, their own their own uh, country in order to get something that's honest. Yeah, it's like ah, this this is bad all the way around. <sighs> and I agree. The 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 weirder thing was is that I. He actually talked to the um, to the investigator for this particular uh, crime that was committed. He came to my building while I was the head concierge in that, and uh, requested footage for outside of, of the area. And I had to go through the whole, you know, making sure that all the ducks were in the row, kind of going, "I really can't give this out to you until I know for sure I'm allowed to do this because this is still." Some are private, even though it's facing the street side, I'm sorry. Yep. And uh, got the okay from the property management and that and said, sure, go for it. Let them have it for this investigation. It, it seems to be the uh, the council says or would like to have this, you know, resolved because they're all it's within their community and they're worried too for their for their people's safety. So I'm like, sure, cool, we got it. So he went through the whole bells and whistles. Asked me some very unusual questions. Um, and, yes. well, one, he was kind of trying to figure out how would somebody sneak a body to the park? Because, Good question. I know. Uh, and he well, also. But then again, <laughs> like, speaking from someone where it happened nearby, yes. you know, how hard could it be? You know, yeah. like, I, I guess. As if you do it late enough, like three AM, when no one's driving by, yeah, you, know, you can get away with all sorts of crazy shit. Correct. That's basically what yeah. I kind of told him. During the day, it's kind of hard because there's a lot of people in that, but during the night, you have little amount of people after a certain time frame. Uh, if you're here late at night, you got nobody. So from say about eleven o'clock uh, PM, going all the way up until about four in the morning AM. You have like it's dead silence, very very little traffic flow whatsoever. People going back and forth, kind of thing. Hell, even the buses or transit going past that area, it's like every half hour, maybe up to uh, I think it's one ish, and then everything is dead. And yeah. it's like okay. Uh, and the the other question he was uh, he was asking about our our uh, yellow bins, our recycling bins that we have. They got wheels on them. They're like a tall. Uh, tall bin with wheels and that and, and i'm going it is possible to, to put a body in there but it it's hard because around this neighborhood they're all documented by each of the buildings and they're all controlled yeah. by by the city dump so um if one goes missing we just have to order another one and the serial number that's usually meant for that is usually knocked off or at least kept on file for the city, for that municipality, just in case it pops up again somewhere in the future. Yep. Uh, but you can buy them. All you have to do is go to a, like a home hardware or something and, that, and purchase one. Yep. Yeah, it's like, oh my God. And then, then finding out later after the fact, yeah, this is, uh, this is the same. Oh, and if you scroll down on the, the map there, uh, there there's a, a little map that shows up. Or the location where the dumping was. Really? Yes. Uh, it's a red circle. Hang on. If yeah, I gotta do exactly yeah. the same thing. 
That's not good. Yeah, I know. Um, and within that red circle, uh, my building is on the right hand side, depending on how you look really? at it. Really? Yes. So you want to go Jesus. towards uh, Patterson Ave on that? Yeah, that was where my, my building was along there somewhere. Yeah, that's how close we. That, and again, that big park area. Uh, if I can ever get this thing to actually work properly on the uh, on, on the little screen, you know, I'll probably just have to put it up later. Um, I'll edit that out. And no, no, just, that's fair. Um, wow. Yeah. But yeah, that that is that is insane. That's how close it was. That's kind of scary, dude. I know. I know. I know. Oh, so. I'm aware. I'm aware. We we got that. <laughs> so I'm like, damn. This guy decided to yeah, we I, I, I was aware that we had some Syrians in the general area, but I didn't think they were that uh, you know, crazy. But apparently I was wrong. Yeah, I'm sorry, buddy. Uh, apparently I was wrong. Sometimes what you think is, is you know Yeah. Are norms. we gonna talk about the 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 um the bleach girl? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We got the bleach girl. Yeah, I forgot about the about the uh, bleach girl, I forgot about her. The 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 funny, the funny yet weird one at, at the moment. Did well, I give well, you the uh, that one or? You gave me the article. Now here's a question because I've um I've been hearing because of I've been still in the men's rights groups and shit. I've yeah. been seeing this post so many fucking times. It's not even funny. Mm -hmm. Um, but I've heard many different variants of the story. I've heard that you know she was a Russian feminist and you know did it to end man spreading. And I've heard that she was from UCLA, and same reason. But I've also heard that it was all a fucking setup. It was yeah. Just... See, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be safe on, on that one and kind of go with probably a setup. But I'm not 100 percent sure. That, 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 that's more than Valerie. Like, I know. You can get serious time for that. Oh, so. well, I know. I know. That's what I mean. It's just it's it's really weird because she says it wasn't. A setup. What she was actually doing it for man spreading. This is what she said. Yeah. Uh, whereas there's reports that says no. So I, I I don't know really where to put this. Uh, Neither do I. But uh, but uh, doesn't she'd be in jail now if it wasn't you know if it was a um you know if it wasn't. You know, if it was fake, wouldn't yeah. she? Uh, that that I'm not 100 percent sure because, like like I said, it it uh, this one's like all over the place because uh, it. That's my point. Why wouldn't she be in jail? She's being caught on film yeah. assaulting. Yeah, no, you know? that's what I mean. It it's all questionable. It's just like I I don't get this because if if it was a true thing, she would be um should be charged. But there was no yeah. charges at this moment levied against her? Yeah, that's why I'm laying firmly on the whole probably bullshit, and if it isn't, it should be because I, you know, and I, and here's another thing. I don't <coughs> know what the audience knows about even bleach and water, but there would be an immediate reaction. Yeah. Right, and, there's, and there, yeah, there are photos, but there isn't really much video no. of what happened. But there would definitely be, maybe not violent reactions, but aggressive reactions. Yeah. You can't just pour bleach on a guy's crotch and expect him to just keep on sitting down. Yeah, and, that, and that's where I'm kind of confused with the whole thing, because even if you go to the, like, the Huffington Post, they don't really cover... I, I, I mean, yeah, they, they cover the actual issue, or at least the... The claim that's happened, but <sighs> way questionable whether she legitimately. See you back in Vancouver. Oh shoot! What brings you to the casino? Yeah, I'm going. Uh, I'm Everybody's going having bullshit. so much fun. No one recognizes me. Recognize you from where? Love the way. Give me a second. Oh. Okay, cool. That I hit a button and, and then I got everything kind of blowing in my ears. I'm like, I don't know what's going on. Never hit a button, people. Never hit a button. No, the buttons are not allowed to be hit. Yeah, I know. Um, They're evil. They're evil buttons. Man, evil buttons. Anyway, 
Where was I? Um, yeah, I call bullshit until further notice. Yeah, no, same here. I'm, I'm kind of questioning everything about this. See, again, a Russian woman allegedly pours bleach on. I'm like, okay, is she that Russian? That was the first story, but it's changed since then too. I know. They, they've changed it several times, but I'm just going with what, what, I, what I've kind of... Even the Huffington Post still has the same basic story. So, and this is all within the last few hours. So I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. It's just, okay. uh, you I call bullshit. That's my judgment. You know, well, if, I, I if, also, if, if, if it wasn't bullshit, I would have a bit more of a um, rage to show. Yeah. But it seems that it is, so there's no point getting angry at it. You know? Well, I also have to kind of go, it, it's um, very questionable because she's she's saying that uh the bottle content was enough to eat the colors of the fabric within minutes yet i yeah i've never seen any yeah, yeah i haven't seen any proof proof of that actually any, happening uh, yeah yeah because because i've seen bleach on even dark you know, uh, clothes, it's it not a matter of minutes. It's very quick and noticeable. Yeah, uh, it's, it, it, it's within 20 seconds. Yeah, it's like, boom, it's on there. All of a sudden, boom, it's there. It's like, ah, oh, shit. E e even with just a little bit of a sprinkle. Yeah. yeah. You, you, you bleach. But let alone a fucking pouring. Yeah. And with with that amount of, of liquid being poured on one's crotch, and even if it's a, it's a concentration of 60%, that's going to eat through and attach itself to the skin. The skin itself would be irritated to a point where it will blister. Uh, now you're going to tell me that these guys who, who are who are who are being doused in the, this combination of bleach, not feeling the effect of any form of burning. Yeah. It's like, hmm. So yeah, I'm coin bullshit. Yeah, I'm. I, I'm. I'm yeah, I was like, yeah, no, I think it, it definitely is definitely a setup, and it looks, it, it it's. And what, there's no point getting all up in arms about shit. No. I've seen a lot of people be like, oh, Vice, if that bitch did that to me, I would fucking hit her. And I'm like, no, you wouldn't. First of all, because you know damn well you'd be fucked for that. Yeah. And second of all. Well, why? Why? So you could be the one that gets punished. Yeah. Wouldn't you get poured on? You know, try to dry it off, call the police, and report the assault, you yeah. know? Don't be a fucking yeah. dickhead. If you're going to get attacked and you're going to be a victim, don't respond by making it so you go to jail. Yeah. You know? So, a, a, a woman reported uh, to be a law student. Congratulations. That That's a feeling thing. She's, she's assaulting somebody. Um uh let's see here she does have a russian last name or at least would fit within that that uh that category um uh, walking yeah. through the uh subway cars of uh, saint petersburg which happens to be in oh good old uh russia uh pouring li liquid chemical solution from a bottle onto male passengers who are clearly man spreading Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. This twenty year old. And also, most women aren't like who aren't insane. Yeah. Get the whole fucking manspreading thing. They're not. Yeah. Yeah. And, and here's the other thing. This person's supposed to be twenty. Yeah. And I'm like, yeah, okay. I'm yeah. very skeptical. Yeah. This this twenty year old who looks like she's you know like a model. And going to law school, does I put that in air quotes, uh, has decided to to take upon the the gender aggression of man uh, of man uh, spreading. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. It's it. It just seems to me that somebody's just trying to uh, get people riled up, get them talking. Yeah. You know. This shit. Our good fellows was talking about this one time. He goes, sometimes he believes the media is intentionally doing these things you need more of a thing yeah you know what i mean it's because like you see this story and your first thing is fuck that bit you know that's your first reaction because if it is real that would should be your first reaction you know what i mean 
Yeah. And it feels like, you know, a division between the sexes. Yeah. No, no. I, I, my, my first uh, thing would, would have been, um, actually, my first, first thing was, what the fuck is going on? And why are these people allowing this to happen? Yeah, that was my first thought, too. Yeah, so, but, let's just, but let's just say I give it the benefit of the doubt and say it is true. Yeah. My, my thought was, it's insane. We're in a world where this could happen. Yeah. But that's why I was like, I don't think it's, it seems so unbelievable. I don't think it could happen. I know. Actually, here's the, the quote. Uh, where is that? She said, uh, it, it's actually, sure, it's not even going to do it properly. Fuck it. I'll just say it. Um, on the Russian news outlet, uh, the Rose Vault, uh, quote, um, I don't think people are going to the police to file a report about genes, she says. No, it would do a lot more damage than just ruining your genes. Yeah. I'm like, yeah. A lot if, more if it's 60% police. Yeah, no, if, if I want to believe that, yeah, I think people are going to be, you know, Asking what the fuck is going on? Why? Why is this woman assaulting me with with, with why do, bleach why water? Why do my pants now smell of like cleaner? Yeah, you know that would be enough to worry guys. Mm -hmm. you know? Again, it would just be like like hey, if it was just water, I'd agree with her. Yeah, you know, even if it was like you know what, let's go further. Let's say it was like paint mm -hmm. or something that would just stain your pants. Yeah. Yeah, fuck it. I probably wouldn't go to the cops. I would be pretty mad. I wouldn't go to the police, you know? Mm -hmm. I'm a fucking crazy bitch spilled some shit on my pants. Now look at him. I got a yeah. big white spot in my pants. Yeah. You know? Oh, yeah. But yeah. I wouldn't go to the police. So if that was true, yeah, you're right. Mm -hmm. But if it's what you say it is, which is bleach, yeah, it would be a lot worse than a fucking saint. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm like, mmm... If, if it was an actual bleach concoction, it would still smell like bleach, no matter how much water you put into it, because bleach is pretty strong smell. And yeah. regardless of how much of the concoction is, bleach would still leave a stain, uh, because bleach yeah. is, is weird. Uh, unless it's like... And yeah, it would uh, probably burn. Yeah, unless it's, a, unless it's like a light bleaching thing, which is pretty close to a dilute uh, of 98% of water with maybe about 2% uh, of bleach, and yeah, well, that's not what she described it no, as. no, no, no. She's saying it's sixty percent bleach with forty percent water, or somewhere in that. And I'm like, yeah, bitch, that's wrong. That's still a lot yeah, of bleach. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That would be like, dude, if you spilled that, if you spilled a few drops of that on your hand, yeah. If you didn't wash it off your hand, your hand would have burns uh -huh. on it within an hour. Yeah, it would be irritation, burns, and, and you, you, yeah, it, it bug you because yeah, I've, I've played with bleach before, and I know, and I know what that, what could actually happen. I've and played with napalm before. Yeah. You know? <laughs> no. So like, it's like, again, bleach, like I've, I've done that too, but yeah. Yeah. So it's like, mm, I, I do know what, what it's like to, to accidentally drop it or at least pour it on, on things or put your hand. And it's not fun. It's yeah, not no, fun. No, no, it's not. And it's like, damn, but Even still. Even when you wash it off straight away, there's like that bit of like, yeah. you rub it and you feel a bit weird. It, yeah. Because you you know, it's, it, well, not just that, the smell is there. No matter how many yeah. times you, you, you've washed your hands with, with, with fragrant soap or whatnot, that bleach smell is there until it yeah. dissipates on its own. It's like, oh, my God. Yeah, it's a, it's a, weird, it's a weird thing. And, um, yeah, I, as for this, those who are taking this as a serious thing, I, I'd be very cautious with it. Uh, you know, in some cases, it, it's good to... Uh, uh, be a little cautious with, with a degree of error. So it, it you, you might want to kind of take this as, as an error kind of up to a certain point going, if this really was a thing, then you've got to find out why this would be a thing. Like, like these reasons are bleach, no matter what the dilution would be, unless it's like the weakest bleach possible would normally well, leave like a stain. You said 98%, yeah. you know? Yeah, uh, would normally leave a stain. It would leave a smell. And... And regardless of all that, these people who could smell bleach, speech, even the people around him would be able to smell that. And they would be up in arms about that. Like, what the fuck are you doing? And, and exactly. So, this, this, this well, was a weird moment of time. Yes, it was. <sighs> uh, another story of one of those bullshit fucking gender division things that's 
We're going to get another one next week and the week after and the week after that. And want to keep on having them until we just <laughs> say no more and we do yeah. the right thing and fuck it. We're just going to get more of the Kavanaugh story from the United States until he gets up there on board, and then the the Democrats are going to freak out again once another one we'll of their own. We'll probably be discussing that next week. Oh yeah. By then there'll be a tw- another twenty three people that have come forward. <laughs> you know. Oh yeah. You know, and, and and then the week after that it'll be literally one hundred and fifty million women, like every single woman in America would have come forward. You know. Yeah. I, I like what I'm going to finish up on this. I like what Stephen Crowder said. He goes, "If as many women that have come forward that he legitimately raped, he needs a death penalty." You know? <laughs> yes, he does. Like, like it, it, it's he's one of the most serial rapists all in all of time. You know, alone. Yeah. You know, it's like oh, yeah. yeah, it's pretty fucked up. Oh yeah, I would say so. But uh, this was another exciting edition of the Red Bull Compendium. Ah. Uh, is there anything we need to, to cover before we get the hell uh, out of here? No, 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 no. We've, we've done all the stories. Please, um, if you haven't already, sign up to Country Roll using our links below. If you haven't signed up to Humble Bundle, please use our links below. Both of those have been supporting us for a while now. They're really great. Um, they're really great like websites. You know, mm-hmm. ones for a game subscription service. It'll give you one hundred thirty dollars worth of games for about twelve ninety five. Almost always a AAA game involved every month. Yeah. It's like loot box, but better because it's video games and you'll you'll use them more. Loot yeah. box, fuck that. You're gonna throw away half the shit anyway. And it's, it's junk. Don't yeah. use it. Anyway, and then you got and then you got um country roll yeah. anime. Most some of it's dubbed, most of it's subbed. It's all great shows. They don't you know submit to just Funimation, just Madhouse. You get the whole fucking spectrum. You get all of it. Yeah, and it's like eight dollars. You get way better than Netflix. <laughs> you know, subscribe to it. You'll thank me later. Check it out. <laughs> also, we have a new uh, Streamlabs uh, uh, merch store. Uh, that's going to be interesting. So Fuck yeah, merch. Uh, yes, merch. Yeah, so uh, to get the look cool too. Come on, guys. At, at the <laughs> moment, we we have a a, a a a mug up there for you. So you may want to head that over, grab the uh, the GNF nice. mug. Um, there'll be more stuff happening up on the stream app. All you have to do is roll down to the to the little ball, hit that little fish. It'll take you right over to the stream maps. Uh, we we are actually going to migrate some of your your gear over to that as well. You know? Sounds good, buddy. Um, <laughs> I, I, I'm mean to get a Gator and Frog shirt. I want to do that, and, do, and that's when I'll be doing my on like street filming. Oh, nice. And I'll, I'll always be like, "This is the show I'm doing it for." Yeah. And you can just point to the shirt. Yeah, right there. <laughs> hey, my eyes up here, bitch. Um, <laughs> <laughs> what you need to do is get a little hat with eyeballs on it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> on that note I am the kitty D road that was Nemo and this was Red Pill Compendium we all wish you a good night and that's it peace out